once you get your skins off and <clears throat> get down to your ribs and you can get down to some of the repairs uh, a rib repair it uh, typically requires a certain amount of strategy which always requires a cup of coffee and and especially if you're drinking from a cup that's been given to you by one of your teenagers that that extols uh, their their gratitude for you simply being their father uh, awesome and then you can get down to the business of trying to figure out how to straighten out the damaged ribs. We're going a little follow up here. <clears throat> Got all the ribs straightened. They all came out really nice. Uh, there's one that we'll have to put a little doubler on. Stop grilled a couple cracks. Uh, but those worked out, and I'm really happy about the rib bar. I had to go ahead and take it out, and uh, it came out real nice. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and put a stiffener in here where it was bent, but uh, you wouldn't even know it now. It's great. A little extra time on that one, though. As you can see, we've got our aluminum laid out on the table. This is a sheet of, of O2-5 and uh, getting ready to make some skins. We're just placing the skin right now to make sure we don't get any shifting as we make our pattern, or as we make our skin from our pattern, that is. I'm going to show you a little bit of the uh, corrosion on the old skins. You can see around the rivet holes we've got some corrosion. We'll take care of that.